TIFU by connecting the dots of my conception date. While at my son's first birthday party, I overheard my dad make a hushed comment to my mom they've been divorced for 10 years saying if it wasn't for April 1st none of this would have happened and my mom shushed him. Confused I later went to my mom and asked what April 1st was. And she told me it was my conception date. Kind of funny I was basically a joke baby. But I moved on. A few months later, I was in the car with my dad on April 1st of this year and he casually mentioned that it was the anniversary of his first date with my mom and that it was at a rave he didn't know I heard about my conception date. So I connected the dots and realized that I was a rave hookup on April 1st. My life has not been the same since. TLDRI was the result of a hookup at a rave on April 1st. Edit 1 just to let everyone know. I'm non-binary so he them pronouns are the correct way to go when talking about me lol. Edit 2 to people saying it's not a foo. It is at least a small foo to me since I learned more about my creation than I ever wanted to know. Especially now that I know where it happened. It's not like I think that it was a fu for me being born. Instead of raving what is and is not a foo take a chill pill lol. I appreciate that your parents are still civil. Can go to a party together for their grandchild. And that they can still banter a bit. Funny story. But kind of sweet in a way. Embrace your destiny. Next time ask him if Children by Robert Miles was playing. Wait. How old are you? Because I remember an April 1st rave and this couple were fucking next to me. Someone took the blue pill that night. My dad once pointed out that my birthday is nine months after my mom's. Thanks. Dad. Everything is awkward now. Do the years add up? Maybe you were an anniversary sex baby. I was conceived in a camper my parents were camping out in for a NASCAR race checkered flag deadpan face. Your tip-off should have been your fluorescent yellow baby pacifier. Your crippling addiction to candy necklaces. And that every time you hear a beat, you start dancing with glow sticks. The signs were there all along. You just refused to see them. I found out I was pregnant on April 1st so totally not funny. How did you fuck up in this? This isn't a TIFU story at all. And you found out your mom put out on the first date. Welp. If it were not for that you would not exist embrace it. Why is this a foo? Also what's with your edit clarifying your gender pronouns? I mean good for you. But why? It's rarely if ever needed in the context of this sub. The vast majority of us were accidents. Don't worry about it. I have a lot of friends with an April 1st birthday. I did the math and determined that the 4th of July was the real MVP. For what it's worth or LOT of people are probably the reason their parents tried to turn what should have been a one and done into a whole ass marriage. Most of them will never know. Wrong sub buddy. This has nothing to do with a fuck up. My life has not been the same since. In what way? This knowledge doesn't seem like something that would actually affect your life at all. Jokes on you. Most of us are happy accidents. Hey. I was born exactly nine months after 9-11. There was a blizzard April 1st too in 2005. I know because I was slightly ahead of a wave of women who had their babies Christmas week. After I took my baby home. The maternity ward was full. I had a summer job in a pharmaceutical warehouse that handled a lot of prenatal and neonatal stuff. 
so they had a bunch of promotional material to go along with it. One thing they had were these circular due date calendars. You'd turn it to the conception date and it would tell you your due date. I did it in reverse and put my birthday to the due date and found out I was conceived on my dad's B-day. Happy birthday, dad. I'm not entirely sure how this a story of either how you fucked up or how your preferred pronouns enter into it. Your mom got knocked up it happens to everyone. You have a way of liking to be referred to that's also universal. Maybe. Stop looking for cool shit about yourself and just start doing cool shit instead. It sounds like your parents still have a good relationship despite being divorced, at least. T-I-F-U and nothing bad happened. Okay, and? I was birthday sex or really close to it. What year? I might have a video. As a New Year's baby myself. Uh. Yes my parents just couldn't resist each other's charm woman shrugging. Don't stress it. I realized a number of years ago that I exist unplanned as a result of first anniversary sex. Likely aided by the infamous British heat wave of 1976. Where are my other mid-November babies at? I always knew my parents met in a bar. But it wasn't until my dad mentioned they met at a nigh party that I put the pieces together. I was born in September. They got married in April. Five months before I was born. They're still married though. I'm adopted. Most everyone is an accident. My life has not been the same since. Yeah. It should be. This is everyone. I did the math and realized I'm the result of birthday sex. This is veering dangerously close to Tifu by curing cancer territory. We found him everybody the April fool that the prophecies foretold of. I was the result of sex being done on the week 9-11 happened so I think you'll be fine buddy. Don't worry comrade. I'm sure a lot of babies have been conceived at raves. It is your destiny to rave. Why is this bothering you I wonder? I was apparently conceived in a hotel that no longer exists yes. Dad pointed it out as the place they went and as my birth year was three years after they got married. My guess is that they had tried for a while and the hotel was to spice things up which I totally did not need to know cold sweat smile. Who cares how or why you were conceived? All that mats is you're alive and they chose to keep you. Be grateful for that. They could have just given you away for adoption and carried on their lives but they didn't they kept you and raised you. OMG just so you know no one cares what your pronouns are SMH. Was a great post till the gender crap. What a dumb world. I dated a girl and worked out that her birthday and two other brothers with birthdays around mid. November was the result of her dad getting lucky on Valentine's Day over the course of their marriage. She said I was disgusting for working it out. I still believe him right. You can almost smell the sweat and other things as you picture them writhing around together. Why do you care? You are here and a parent. Just love your life. What does he them mean? So I switch which pronoun depending on the part of the sentence. So he got it from me but I gave it to them. Or does it mean you can use he him or they them? Honey, we're all fucking results. UHNNTSs, UHNNTSs, UHNNTSs. Do you want the blue pill or the red pill? Your dad I'll take whichever one she doesn't want. UHNNTSs, UHNNTSs, UHNNTSs.